<laughs> yeah, I just don't love Halloween decorations. Anyway, um, That's but such uh, a shame. I just think it's a kid's holiday, and it's fine. Like I, in adults that want to stay kid, <laughs> be a big kid. I, I don't want to discourage that. I can't win in this discussion. <laughs> as I, the more I talk about it, I'm like this is so. I just think everybody can do what they want to do. It's fine. I just don't love, yeah, I just don't love, my son loves horror films. He's got like the Michael Myers masks and all the things, so it's around me. Um, but, uh, you know, like our gym always has a competition, a Halloween competition, and it's like wear a costume. I'm like, that's fun. Yeah, just that is fun. Seems unnecessary. <laughs> Especially at a gym it, it, where you're. I understand. We're that's kind of like the last, the last thing you would think of in a gym because you're going there to work out. Never mind going there to work out yeah. and do stuff in a Halloween costume. And like, you have a partner, and then you have to coordinate this. Like, oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be the red M M&M and M, and I'm gonna be the. Oh green my M&M. god. <laughs> you know, or whatever. This um, is. I am not going to let this go. This is going to be on my hot take list every single time we record because I just can't believe it because I love Halloween so much. I think it's great. That's great. Mm. You're, you know, look, you were still trick-or-treating not that many years ago. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I am. I'm pretty far removed from that. So I would expect you to still have some residual love for Halloween. Everyone, I just want to make a statement. I haven't trick-or-treated in probably 10 years. You really think it's that long? Yeah, because. What do you, yeah, I guess. You stop going. Yeah. Yeah, right? you're probably right. Yeah. Right. Or <laughs> it's like fine. <laughs> we'll say nine to make Bill feel better. Anyways, we I picked up coffee from Coffee Connection in Smithfield, Rhode Island. And did you know they actually have a lot of different area like locations in Rhode Island? I did not know that. I did not know of this location. Yeah, me neither. We Ten were, minutes. Yeah, we were introduced by a coworker and uh, apparently it used to be our office used to go there a lot, just mm-hmm. like they go now to the previous shop. And um, yeah, they, they loved it there too. So this is just a little further away. But um, I gotta say, good, uh, good black coffee. Good you know? ice black <laughs> coffee. I got a like chocolate chip mint something. Sounds good. My honest review, I personally like the Minty Lou at Mary Lou is better but that's just my opinion it's still delicious nobody come for me but <laughs> they, I think you're safe <laughs> thank god mm. um yeah they have uh providence smithfield north attleboro cumberland and socket north wow. providence which i didn't realize there i've actually been to this place before in north attleboro like my dance studio is right by the okay. one in north attleboro but this one in Smithfield is huge. Like they have outdoor seating. It looks like they have almost like as big as urology indoors where you okay. can go and sit. But the one in North Attleboro is more, it kind of looks like it was in like an old honeydew or something like that, or okay. maybe an old Duncan. So there's really not, it's not a place you would go to like get work done. You know what I Got mean? It. But this one, the one in Smithfield, I feel like you could. It's more of a sit down. Yeah, it's good. I would definitely go back. We're at our place of business here at the Debug headquarters, but we did not get a chance to go to the shop today Jaden picked it up I think hopefully in the future we'll get to go and sit there I think it was a little busy probably this morning yeah it's always hard in the mornings because coffee shops and you know sit down places are so busy in the morning which makes sense and two you never know filming at right. certain locations right. we don't know if it's ever gonna be, be okay okay I'm sure they're incredibly yeah. kind and understanding people there. yeah but it was good I'd say I'd rate it my coffee 7 out of 10 okay but only because I like <laughs> I like my coffee to have, if it's flavor, unlike some cold, bitter, opposite flavor, like black iced coffee, where it has (laughs) no flavor. Like I want, (laughs) I want the flavor to be there, present and thick. So uh, whole round numbers, I think you know, is a rookie score. It's an amateur, right? So this is uh, a good 7.2. Um, okay. I agree. Good coffee. It's I want it bold. I like it strong. And it's tough in their defense. It's Iced coffee can be tough because it does water it down. And even the drive here could have water. So, you know, might not be completely fair. I'll own that. But uh, but yeah, that, and that's my preference too. Some people like a, a lighter coffee. But I don't know what the blend is or any of that kind of stuff. So, but for me, it's, uh, it's not strong enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, but good. Yeah, it's good coffee. Yeah, I feel like even when I a lower a lower scored coffee, even if we're not sitting here and scoring it, but you know you always score your coffee every time yeah. you get a coffee. Yeah. Um, I feel like sometimes I've had bad coffees where like I've gotten like medium iced whatever from Dunkin' and you can tell it's just burnt, so yeah, I won't drink sure. it. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. I'll always drink it. I won't. I'll dump that <laughs> down the drain. I'll d- 
stuff it down the drain and I'll go back to a different one. That's how. Really? Because I need. You go back in or go to a different shop? I'll usually go to a different shop. Wow. But like not right away, but I'll figure, I'll always have like a backup plan. Like say somebody, last, oh. like last time it happened, Scuba's mom was coming home um, okay. from running an errand and she was grabbing coffee anyways. So I got, I ended up getting a new coffee right away. But because oh, she okay. happened to be coming got home. It. Got it. After we just got so But you so always have a backup plan. Like, had you, before you buy the coffee, do you think, if this coffee's not good, I know where I'm going to go? Usually. Wow. Because. <laughs> that's a lot of <laughs> Usually. <laughs> <laughs> You're like wasted energy. No, it is. <laughs> How are you supposed to start a good day with a bad coffee? So that number, in terms of scoring, it's got to be a below what for you to dump it and start over? I feel like at least a six. Or a five. Whoa, so, okay. Well, I don't know because like if we're looking at this rating, we rated it a seven or 7.2. Yeah. But I wouldn't dump this. That's what like I, mean. I wouldn't think about dumping it. Okay. So maybe a five. Like, I feel like it's going to be like a, four. Like a one or a two for me to dump it. I'm like five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. That's the thing. I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm probably more reluctant to do it now. When I ordered a coffee the other day, it was a, it was a large coffee and it was like $5. And again, it's black iced coffee. I'm like, it's getting well, expensive. I don't dump. Yeah, I think I'll just power through it so that's, yeah. the, that's the poor college kid in me well that's that's, the, that's definitely the other thing i have told myself within these past few weeks that i want to learn how to make my own iced coffee it's not that hard like you get all of, like from the supermarket yeah. or a target or something but it's just the effort you just need coffee or you need coffee <laughs> but you need the thing is and like water <laughs> it's really the thing ice. is the <laughs> getting it and getting the caramel and getting the flavoring, it still all never all stuff, tastes yeah. the same. Yeah. So I think that's my problem of Got I'm it. always going to be disappointed because deep down I'm like, it's not the same. Because it's not the same. Of course it's not the same because right. I'm not using the same stuff. You're not a barista. I'm not a barista, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but I feel like that is a hobby that I want to pick up. It's a great hobby. To make I think so. my own coffee. They also have, they have a lot coffee connection they have pastries breakfast sandwiches salads acai bowls wraps veggie wraps hot iced tea blended smoothies and protein drinks let's go right and their protein drinks i just thought it was it stood out to me because i would not go for a protein drink i literally walked into work this morning and cracked open my diet coke because that's <laughs> just the kind of morning i was having breakfast of champions right there ladies and <laughs> But protein drinks, they have one called Knockout, Stiff Jab, Right Cross, and Uppercut. Okay. I don't know any of those. Right. But doesn't that, that just like stands out to you? They do. Yeah. It makes sound, you I think a boxer wanna, made right. those. But, uh, makes yeah. you want to try it. It does. Yeah. You drink those and you're just ready to throw blows. <laughs> you're <just ready> to... <laughs> so I don't really have a lot of news. I... <laughs> <laughs> All the news that I have is fall is here. Okay. I haven't looked into the weather for next week, but today Must is been the slow first. been slow on TikTok this week. <laughs> 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 the first crisp fall day is upon us on this Friday. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's been so humid here. So and I sweet. love summer. I really do. But uh, the humidity was just like wouldn't go away. And I could do without that. So no, this is, this is yeah, it's that crisp like football and yeah, all the fall things are here you know and now you can they start are. to colors the leaves changing you know the blanket at night yes. i mean early morning or that kind of stuff um yeah no, i'm excited for it football a big thing good ipas oh, if you're a beer lover yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah no it's exciting I'm, I'm ready for it i watched the game last sunday well i say watched but i watched some of the patriots game patriots game yeah um some of it and then i ended up finishing my book and then starting a new book okay. all in within the game. Your boyfriend but, watched the whole game? Yeah. We were in the living room with his parents. Okay. Just, they were doing the thing, watching it. It's a tough start to the game if you watch the beginning of the game. I'm not sure. but um, Yeah, I don't know how it ended, to be honest. Did we <laughs> they lose? Lost. They lost. They lost. But there was a, uh, I don't know, it, I felt good about the loss, which is not a thing I usually do. Um, they had a chance to win the game at the end of the game, which was, they played arguably one of the best teams in football. So mm -hmm. um, team that team was in the Super Bowl last year you may or may not remember which team was it the philadelphia eagles oh yeah aaron Rodgers was that he his name? plays in the nfl well he, he technically well, doesn't right now because right that's news that he is, yes. tore his what his acl yeah his tough, acl tough thing. excuse me his achilles not his acl he tore okay his that's what i was gonna say because yeah. i tried to say that word yesterday Oh, was dry. And yeah. I was like... Letters would have been way easier. I can say ACL. <laughs> right. I'm like, 
Mm. I'm gonna go with it, but I don't know if that's right because yeah, no, I had a harder time yeah. pronouncing. It was his Achilles. Did. Tours Achilles. So this is yes, this is sports news. I am not a Jets fan. Wasn't a Packers fan. Not an Aaron Rodgers fan, but I do respect his game. Uh, it was all the buzz him being in New York, and this was his big. Like, he ran out. Uh, of course, it was on September 11th, and he ran out with the flag, mm-hmm. you know, and it was a big to do. And then four plays into the game, he tore his Achilles. I don't even think he threw a pass in the game, and uh, he's out for the year. That is crazy. And, uh, did you see the video? I did see the video. You could actually see it. Yeah, yes, it was like. like four yeah, four. like yeah, reverberating. So that was uh, yeah, that was something. Um, but uh, that was big news. Mm-hmm. And then they won the game, which is even wilder. Crazy. There you go. Crazy football time. <laughs> You're probably a college football fan more than NFL. I am not. I, <laughs> I just don't. It's not that I don't care for it. I think we talked about this last time. Throw me in the atmosphere. I'm not going to know what's going on, but yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah. have a blast, yeah. you know? Because yep. Scuba played football through college. And yep. lo- like I do miss going to games. Right. But I just don't. I mean, I, I finished it. one book and started another all within <laughs> <That's wild. laughs> Football yeah, I can, Sunday. I can do that. <laughs> but it's just, I just, I like it. Here's the thing on the TV, I can watch it. I just can't watch it for that long continuously. Yeah, like, I, mean, I need to take mini breaks. It's three hours. Yeah. I get it. Um, in other crazy news, the New England weather from this week. Even though I feel like it's not on your radar, because every time I bring it up, you're is like, that a weather yeah, joke? it's good. Not on my radar. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> well, every time I bring up the storm that's a brewing and the weather that we've had this week, you're like, I didn't even know it was supposed to rain. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. the streets are flooded. Yeah, so like we did. You're right. We had some crazy flooding here in Rhode Island, and uh, we we were affected here at the shop. We had a foot of water in our garage, but where I live in the northwestern part of the state, we had like a passing shower. And on that first flood day, so I didn't, I didn't even know what I saw on the news. Like, what is all this? What is this craziness? So I was, uh, yeah, that was, that was wild. And then a couple days later, (laughs) you uh, reminded me that it was coming back. (laughs) Um, I was like, apparently it's a monster hunting us down. The worst day is supposed to be tomorrow, Saturday. Board up your windows. (laughs) Oh, dear God. I got an email from a from a partner of ours this morning who I really care about. I think they're great partners. Let me let me say that first and foremost. But it said, "Hey, we can still take care of this job for you if you need us to. Just let us know. Stay safe this weekend. Stay safe from the hurricane or something." Yes, Hurricane look, Lee. Look, I went to college in Florida. Okay, you did. I did four years. My family still lives down there. Half my family. So uh, this ain't nothing. You know, <laughs> okay. we got a little storm. We got a little disturbance off the coast. Um, I just have been very. I literally was telling my mom take everything out of your car that you care about <laughs> because God forbid you need to abandon your car in the middle of your drive. What are you talking about? <laughs> People have been like, it's been crazy. People have been stuck. Yep. Everybody stay safe. Yep. <laughs> oh, I do have some hot takes for okay, you. Let's get it. For today. And it's funny that we were talking about it before filming. Okay. Harry Potter. Yep. Harry Potter overrated or respectfully gets the hype? I think not yeah respectfully what are you properly rated properly yeah. rate i like that which properly by the way so rated. i'm big gary vaynerchuk guy big mm-hmm. gary v fan met him twice mm-hmm. once least twice um and uh he had a thing he would do on youtube overrated underrated which actually could be fun and like yeah i feel like that's kind of like what our hot takes can turn into yeah yeah i like i like that it's just a fun yeah way to look at things. so i think and a lot of things were properly rated and i think that yeah, that is properly rated properly. i agree i 100 percent believe hogwarts is real it's a real it's a real place in my you, mind you need to go to universal studios i know like, I would love to. You will probably, because you really love Harry Potter. I really, so I just started to, because I grew up on Harry Potter. That's yep. like the movie my Pepe and I would watch. Yep. So even like he w- went to the movies when the last few came okay. out and it was like a big thing. Um. So I grew up on Harry Potter. I always loved it. So is and... it, it's Di- Diagon Alley? Yeah. Okay. You'll You'll probably cry. Right. That's well. <laughs> when you it's... get on that, <laughs> I'm just telling you. Like I've heard people, people have had like real emotional reactions because you're gonna, yeah. Like, you will feel like you're there. Right. I probably uh-huh. would. It's funny because we, my mom and I, we were just talking um, to one of our dance parents about Disney. Okay. Just um, obviously there was Disneyland, Disney World, yep. there's Epcot, like whatever, and. <laughs> I made a comment of like, oh, I wouldn't 
choose to go to Disney. Keep in mind, I've been to Disneyland and Disney World. Disneyland when I was older, Disney World when I was really young. Okay. Like, I barely remember it. Um, but my point was, I wouldn't go out of my way. Like, if I'm thinking, planning a vacation, my first thought isn't Disney, you know? Because there's kids there. There's so many kids there. <laughs> yes. Nobody likes kids. <laughs> <laughs> I well, my thing is like a majority when I'm not working here, I'm working with no, no, kids. No, I was, okay. so I was serious. Yeah, I have kids. Right, nobody likes kids. Nobody likes kids <laughs> on kids. their vacation. <laughs> <laughs> right, because kids ruin everything. <laughs> they do, and I have younger Finally sisters. Something we can agree upon. <laughs> I have younger siblings. Um, my two youngest sisters are like six and eight, so I'm just like, wow. Like, when I go and see them, I'm like, God bless to my stepmom. <laughs> I step don't mom. like you. Because I'm just like, I love you, but I can leave. Yeah, I'm out. You're, yeah. <laughs> you guys are stuck here know. with them. Yeah. Like, I understand my parents have mental breakdowns and, like, Thank cry. Um, I cried this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I feel like Disney, that whole vibe, as soon as you do go and step into it, you're like, <gasps> Why am I getting emotional seeing Donald Duck when I know that's like, like in costume? Like, why am I? You know what I mean? Because I feel like it taps into your childhood. Oh yeah, probably that you don't that, really think about. You shouldn't cry when you see Donald Duck. Well, no, I mean, you know what I mean. Not. You know, you just that's feel real. like the... <laughs> you just feel like like all the things from your childhood. No, it is come the, back. so they go the happiest place on earth. I do feel like you smile a lot. Yeah, because yeah, it's designed to be just a happy place, right? right? It's and just a happy I, place. Other than the prices and the kids, but the prices right. mainly they are they are tough. And so. some of the parents, some people, because I think some people are just miserable. The only worse than kids are their parents, right? <laughs> right. No, I am not. I, you know, I'm going to backtrack. I'm <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm not complaining about I'm anybody. Fun. I think that uh, you know, like it's being a kid stuff, being a parent stuff, but. It's uh, it's it's great stuff at the end of the day. But yeah, Disney World can be can be a challenge because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people. It's long spe- days it's for long everyone. Days, Everyone's tired. Yep, you're spending a lot of money, which in, in itself is stressful, right? Um, so it's uh, it's something. But it is th- there are those moments. It's the yin and the yang, right? Like you get there and you you're so happy that you're gonna feel some some low points to mm-hmm. it. But that's what makes the the sweet stuff so sweet, right? Mm-hmm. So. I would encourage, if, you, if you've never been to Disney, apparently I'm getting commission for Disney World, but you should go to Disney. <laughs> not sponsored by Disney. No, but... yeah, this is not. If you go, but if you're interested, uh, we are accepting offers for sponsorships. Um, I feel like they should make an adult Disney section, at least. Maybe not World. Maybe not. I think they did full... make an adult. I think it's called really? Las Vegas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been to Vegas. Would love to go. That's another thing. That is, uh, yeah, that's a much different happiness. <laughs> it's a much different atmosphere. Yes, it's. I uh, can only. Ima- I don't want to imagine, but I've I can been only imagine. too many times because my maybe another fun fact for you is my dad. The, so the founder of this company, when we were much mm-hmm. smaller, they retired about an hour outside of Vegas. So finish my thought. Yeah, Vegas. Dad, yeah, they. I would be out there probably three times a year for the last like ten to fifteen years. Wow. So if you guys need any recommendations, put them in the comments below. <laughs> I think I've stayed at every hotel on the Strip. I, I, think I've, I feel like I've seen every show. I've been to most of the restaurants. So fun. So yeah, if you ever, when you do go, I'm actually going there in November <gasps> for a conference. But oh. we'll mix in some fun. Yeah. Sure. Next hot take, coffee overrated or underrated? I'm interested to see what you say with your coffee order. Coffee in general? Yeah. Coffee is, I might say it's overrated. Really? Like coffee in general. Because I love coffee. Right? right. But this idea that people like need to get up and have their morning coffee is a little exaggerated. Sometimes that's me. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a, we're a creature of habits, right? right. Or routine or, you know, you, so I quit drinking coffee for the first three months of this year. I switched to tea. Fantastic. Tea. <laughs> that's tea. It was, but it was decaffeinated. Mm-hmm. It was hot. I think more than I was like, I want a nice warm drink. In the yeah. Morning, right. I just think, and again, I love. I have a, I have a ridiculous coffee maker at home. I can make americanos and lattes and all the things. And I just didn't do it. Wow. Teslas yeah. 
Overrated, underrated, what are your thoughts? A little hard for me because I don't have one. Um, so I guess I'll say properly rated. I, I, cause I just I don't know. I think, you know, yeah, I don't know. Because they, they are very much like hype. But I think that they're probably in terms of like electric vehicles, they probably really are significantly better from a technology standpoint than the other. I always forget that they need to be charged. You just think they run? Just like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I just know like I just... <laughs> imagine oh my god no i just forget that yeah, those are they called don't hybrid cars get gas like people with tesla's teslas can't get gas correct they have to be charged right. and they have to sit there like i've watched vloggers who have teslas yeah. and they're like i'm gonna do this while my tesla charges because they're there for at least a half hour sitting there yeah i mean they're probably those people are just are not like well thought out i don't think because right. you get so many miles if you have a charger at your house you just plug in every night and you're good to go oh yeah i don't know because i don't have one what do you think we should wrap with it so hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys enjoyed our banter yeah and uh if you have any thoughts or ideas for shows drop them in the comments that's huh. what the kids say right drop them in the comments like follow subscribe do all the things <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> Comment down below your hot takes. And um, yeah, and then Disney, don't forget sponsorships. We're looking for them. So yeah.